hello guys welcome to the core beginners in the previous video we have learned how can we you know show our database values in this combo box in this video I am going to tell you how can you you know if you select this name one of this name all of its correspondent values for example its employee ID employee name employee username and employee password should appear here in the respective fields so how can you do that uh, I'll show you in a while so I will just stop debugging and then I will go to my this combo box just select this by clicking once and then double click on it you will be redirected to this the event of this combo box so for now just remove this because I don't need it right now so what I am going to do I will just go to my previous fill combo code where I have filled my combo so just this this one void combo function if you have seen my previous video you will be familiar with that so just copy paste this code until catch block so just control C and come to your design double click on that and now you need to just to copy paste this here one thing to remember I don't need this button so I'll just place it on a side because I don't need it right now because it has nothing to do with my combo box so just don't get yourself confused with this button okay so now double click on the combo box and you'll be redirected to here and here I have this code so I just need to make little changes in that code I will just write here select static from database this is my database name dot employee this is my table name so I'll write here where and uh, e name is equal to single quotes twice double quotes twice and then plus plus so this is the syntax of C I mean you use plus plus to you know differentiate between string or variable because if you won't enter these plus plus uh, it will you know print out that variable as it is so it will cause an error in this case so I'll write here my combo box name so for that purpose I'll just go here select this and find out its name and in my case that is combo box one so I will copy paste its name and double click on that and I'll reach here so I will write here combo box one dot text yes so I am done with my query so now what I will do I will just go to my while loop and in here I will uh, remove this line because I don't need that the first one okay all right so let's go to the database and see what we have our fields that we have to display EID e name e username and e password these four four fields and I have to display it all here the values if I select this and it should, all the values should appear right here so for that purpose what I will do I will just go here and uh, copy paste this thing three times more but I will change this field name as the first one is in my case is e underscore ID e underscore name e underscore username and e underscore password as this uh, one is not case sensitive so I will not care about the sensitivity so I can write bigger letters or small letters it all depends upon me so e username and now here I will write e password alright so this string is 
uh, I just need to change the variables uh, name actually so that it does not cause any error so yes so I have these four strings one thing to remember that my all these three you know types are string here so and but this one if you see at the employee ID this is a type of integer I mean if I will select this and uh, I, I will make it appear in this text field it does not show up here because it will only take strings so for that purpose I have a trick and I will use it shortly but first I need to show you that uh, what exactly the data type of my employee ID is so that you don't get yourself confused all right so there it is there you go so if you see this employee ID is of integer but all are watcher so it will be fine but this is integer so for that purpose what I will do I will just change it to r dot get int 32 but before that I will write int okay all right fine so this is int 32 get int 32 yes all right so here is another problem that this thing is int but the text box will only take string so now I have to do something that it should keep it as string uh, sorry it should keep it as int but it should give it to that text box as a string so what I will do I will just keep it that type of that variable to string but you can see it is giving me an error so I'll have to convert this integer into the string so for that purpose I'll use a trick as I'll write here dot to string most of you must be familiar with that what this to string is so you can see that your error has gone completely so now uh, you need to do one more thing here and uh, what it is you need to write your text boxes name here and assign them their respective string names I mean you have to put equal sign between the this string name and uh, this text box name so that when you will select from database any value I mean from the combo box any value its correspondent values should be you know appeared here so what I will do I will just write here like uh, the name of my first text box and that is in my case is text box one so I'll just copy paste this and I'll go to my code just text box one dot text and I'll put it equal to s1 all right now what I will do I will go to my text box 2 and uh, I will copy paste its name and uh, copy paste here dot text and I will put that equal to s2 as my text box 2 is representing this e underscore name so I have to put that equal to that string variable okay so now I will go to the username and I will go down here select this name and I'll go to my code just copy paste this dot text equal to s3 and put the semicolon and after that I know what is my text box for name 
and that is here text box 4 so I will just copy paste this and do the same thing okay so just remember that you have to do these things so s4 and there you go you are done with it now let's run our program and let's see what happens so I will just start my program uh, it is you know ready now so if I put John I put my credentials as like this this is telling me login successful now if I select one of this name all the correspondent values of that name should appear here in these four text field so let's go let's go ahead and select one name and let's see what happens there you go you have successfully done that now let's match if it's been matched with our database so there it is so select any one name John and let's match this one ID is one e name is John username is John and password is one two three so now let's see five mark mark and mar is the password so if I select mark here you can see there is nothing you know changeable or changed so that's it for today thanks for watching and please rate comment subscribe bye for now